So NBA star Jonathan Isaac of the Orlando Magic recently stood during the national anthem and he refused to wear Black Lives Matter gear. Now, as you could imagine, I'm sure this one's not gonna go over well with some people. Afterwards, he was asked why he didn't wear Black Lives Matter gear and why he stood during the national anthem. And this is what he said. Okay, um, so I have a two part question for you. So you didn't kneel during the anthem, but you also didn't wear a Black Lives Matter shirt. Uh, do you believe that Black Lives Matter? Absolutely. I believe that Black Lives Matter. Um, a lot, a lot went into my decision, and, and part of it is, first off, um, is, is, is my thought that you know kneeling or wearing a Black Lives Matter T-shirt um, don't go hand in hand with supporting Black Lives. And so um, I felt like just me personally, um, and what it is that I believe in, standing on a stance that um, I do believe that Black Lives Matter, but I, I just felt like it was the decision that I had to make, and, and I, I didn't, um, you know, feel like putting putting that shirt on and, and kneeling. I went hand in hand with um, supporting Black Lives, or that it, it made me support Black Lives or not. I believe that uh, for myself, my, my, my life has been supported um, through the gospel, of Jesus Christ, and, and that everyone is made in the image of God, and that we all fall short of God's glory, and that uh, you know each and every one of us, each and every day, do things that we shouldn't do, we say things that we shouldn't say, and we hate and we, we dislike people that we shouldn't hate and dislike, um, and, and sometimes it gets into a point where we point fingers about whose evil is worse. And, and sometimes that comes down to simply whose evil is, is most visible. So um, I felt like I wanted to just take a stand on it. I feel like we all make mistakes, but I think that the gospel of Jesus Christ is that there's grace for us and that Jesus came and died for our sins. And that if we all will come to an understanding of that and understand that God wants to have a relationship with us, um, that we can get past skin color, we can get past all the things in our world that are messed up, jacked up, I think when you look around, racism isn't the only thing that, that, that plagues our society, um, that plagues our nation, that plagues our world. And I feel like, you know, coming together on that message that we want to get past not only racism, but everything that that, 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 that plagues this other society, I feel like the answer to it is, is the gospel. Yeah. Answer that. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, am I able to follow up with a quick one? Yes, please do. Go ahead. Okay, um, so Jonathan, I, I, I'm asking this with all sincerity. I just want to really understand your reasoning for that. Can you just explain further what you feel like religion has to do with kneeling for the anthem to protest against racism and police brutality? The correlation between those two? Well, I mean, I honest, honestly, I don't, I don't really see it as religion for myself. Um, I see it as a relationship with, with God. Um, um, through, through His Son who died for our sins, I feel like not only I, I don't, I don't think that. You know, kneeling or um, putting on a T-shirt for me personally is the answer. I feel like um, for me, Black lives are supported through the gospel. All lives are supported through the gospel. That we all, like I said, have things that that that, that we do wrong, and um, sometimes it gets into a place of pointing fingers about which wrong is worse and, and who's wrong is seen. So I feel like the Bible tells us that we're all we all fall short of the glory of the. We all fall short of God's glory, and that at the end of the day, you know, whoever will humble themselves and, and seek God and repent of their sins, that, that that we could see it in a different light, see our mistakes, see people's mistakes in a different light, or see people's evil in a different light, and that it would help bring us closer together and get past skin color and get past anything that you know that's on the surface and doesn't really deal with the hearts of men and women. And good for him. We need more people like that. And I've talked about this before, but for me, I don't want to be known as primarily someone who's aligned with any of these modern movements today. When people look back on my life, I want people to see where my allegiance truly lies. And as a Christian, my allegiance first and foremost is as a follower of Jesus Christ. And that's what I want people to understand about me and my life and where I stand and what I stand for. So that's the main thing that I want to be known for, not one of these fleeting movements that will morph into God knows what in the next five years. And this is the risk of what happens when we align with these sorts of movements. Eventually, people will use them for all kinds of evil. And that's the same thing that actually happens with religion. And this is why I don't put my trust in religion. I trust in Christ and what he's done for all of us who believe in him. The reality is I don't care what comes my way because Christ will always come first and no one will bully me into thinking otherwise. Thankfully, it's seems like Jonathan feels the same way. Now I've talked about this in a lot more detail in this video where I talked about how Black Lives Matter advocates have been demanding my allegiance. And yeah, here's what I have to say about that. So go ahead and click on this video here and let me know if you agree. So I'll see you over there. But the next time that people tell you to stand for an organization above Christ, what are you going to say? What do you mean?